My name is Patrick Kamau. I'm the head of department, uh, Fiber Operations Division in uh, Adrian, Kenya. So in the Fiber Division, we have several departments. We have the Survey and Design. We have the Acquisition Department. We have the Fiber Rollouts, um, Fiber Maintenance, Customer Connection, Customer Relocations, um, as the several departments which basically form the fiber division. We have both direct and indirect employees. Uh, direct employees, we have 100 and uh, above 160 employees um, cutting across the entire uh, division. For the indirect employees who we work with as partners, we have another uh, about 115 employees. So that's basically we form about um, 200 and 72 employees in the entire fiber division. My team uh, works in fiber planning and design. They come up with a model on how to lay the infrastructure and how to serve uh, customers using the fiber technology uh, with various uh, equipment. Uh, so uh, we normally come up with a solutions on the fiber routes and uh, how it's going to be implemented and uh, laid in, uh, in various solutions that is underground or overhead. As by the name FTTH um, stands, uh, that is fiber to home. We install fiber on the uh, residents' uh, homes. The moment we receive um, uh, an ago ahead from the customer, that is a client, that we, they need a fiber of maybe like, for, I give an example of Kino. Maybe there is a apartment in Kino where they need the fiber. So we get, we, we give us a, 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 go ahead, we do the survey. After we get a survey, uh, they approve the design. So they, when they approve the design, they give us the, the PO. Then from there, we request for the materials. So the moment they give us the materials, we now start to roll out. NOC is the network operation center. This is a centralized location where network monitoring uh, escalations and troubleshooting takes place. Uh, I have a team of 10 network engineers uh, in FiberNOC. Uh, they work in a rotation of four, four, four people during the day and two people during the night. Uh, the reason why we have a night shift, that is because um, monitoring of network is supposed to take place for 24 hours, uh, that is seven days a week. That means full time the network must be monitored. So we have to work. Uh, as, um, we have to work during the day and also at night. What generally happens in fiber knock is monitoring of network, troubleshooting, and escalations. So when we get a failure on a normal day, uh, we have to create a ticket for the same ticket. Uh, send an engineer on field to attend to the failure, and keep constant communication between the NOC team in the engineer in field plus the client. And the FTTB and FTTS uh, department, uh, we have a team composition of uh, six staff, and that is four, four supervisors, site supervisors, and one technician. And at the site, uh, site supervisor usually work with the handyman, uh, which they usually enroll them uh, on a day-to-day -day work, and that's on a, on a need basis. Uh, for FTTB, we usually do the connection once we receive a project from the client. Uh, that is, uh, maybe we, they have a client they need to connect with fiber. Uh, we do the uh, laying of the infrastructure. Uh, that, is, that means cable, duct, uh, FET, ATB, all the components uh, that ensure that the client is, uh, the internet is up and running. Uh, that's under FTTB. Uh, for the FTTS, uh, that is fiber to the site. We usually roll out uh, fiber to the to the site just to enable that the site uh, is able to transmit via 3G and 4G. Uh, that ensures that the data availability for the for the clients around that area it's up and running. For the last financial year, uh, that is year 2021-2022, uh, we managed to to connect 120 121 uh, buildings uh, that is under FTTB. While we managed to connect. Uh, 46 uh, FTTS. Uh, based on the evaluation that we that was done by the client uh, last year, uh, we managed to uh, to, uh, to do other 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 partners. So this year we are uh, this financial year 2022-2023, we are expecting more projects uh, for under FTTS. Uh, we have one big project that is uh, incoming, and uh, that is Mutomo Kibwezi, Mutomo Kibwezi Link. 
which will be able to roll out fiber for 87 kilometers. And ITTB, we have received a number of, of homes, of buildings. Uh, we need to, man, uh, to connect them with fiber that is within uh, Embu County and K Kirinyaga County. Under the department, we have a team of 39 teams and each team comprises of two technicians. So that's a total of 78 personnel that I deal with. And we have also casuals that we engage uh, in our daily activities. So in total, we have, uh, I have under over 100 people that are working under me. Under Adrian, we have two main regions which are all in Nairobi. We have Nairobi East and Nairobi West. Nairobi East covers the region from Thika Road all the way from Riru, uh, the whole of Thika Road coming to all the way to Kitengela and Siokimau. And Nairobi West, we have the area of Parklands uh, and Kino. Fiber maintenance is a department under Fiber Division, which uh, uh, has various roles in terms of uh, execution. One, we have uh, fault restoration. Uh, we have link optimization, uh, we have uh, capacity uh, optimization, we have uh, uh, link creations for the new customers and generally ensuring that all the sites that we maintain are up uh, which are using fiber as one of their transmission. Uh, uh, part of the work under fiber maintenance is also to repair the network which has deteriorated uh, over time uh, to better condition that can sustain uh, our clients and reduce downtime so that we can increase resilience in terms of uh, uh, network availability. We have different clients that we maintain. Uh, but of essence, which is a bigger large, uh, bigger scope, we we have over 3,000 sites that we are maintaining, um, uh, over 50,000 clans that we are maintaining, and a span of 3,000 kilometer of fiber actively uh, serving all those clans and sites. For the special projects, uh, particularly, I've been handling uh, the MYCT project. Uh, fiber project uh, that involves uh, uh, commissioning, maintenance, and deployment of a fiber optic cable mm -hmm. from Rironi to Naivasha. Uh, it was a large flagship uh, project under the government, and uh, we've managed to execute the project well and complete it 62.5 kilometers to be precise. We have a mandate to ensure uh, adherence to very strict quality in terms of uh, uh, the nature of works and quality of works and also speed of execution in terms of uh, speeds of uh, deployment at the same time ensuring uh, quality. One of the main um, objectives that we have is to make sure that we give 100% to the customer and that comes with customer satisfaction and for this we have to make sure that any connection raised or any support that is raised is sorted within the minimum time possible in case we are not able to get to the uh, deadline or the timelines of the client we always make sure that <coughs> we communicate in advance and we come into consensus with the client for uh, for the best services